This is our automatic bird feeder. So the IR sensor is used to read the food level currently in the dish as the food level goes farther away from the camera. The servo automatically opens to allow more food to fall into the dish and as the dish fills up and as the food level gets closer, it knows to close off the food or the hopper so that no more food falls into the dish. Um, this is the automatically controlled mode. There's also a web control mode that you can turn on through its web page. So currently it is, it is in web control mode. So you can use the web the website to either open the, the feeder or to close the feeder to allow food to fall into the dish. Currently the feeder is closed. So if you select open feeder and submit that command, the servo opens to allow more food to fall in and you can afterwards you can close the feeder as well. And then you can also turn off web control mode to go back to auto auto control mode. So again, we're back in auto control mode where the servo is controlled by the IR sensor. There is a hardware override option using this switch. By flipping the first switch on, the auto control no longer functions and it is controlled by this switch. So flipping the switch goes to open, flipping it back closes it and so on. Uh, no matter what, in this mode, the switch controls it. Web control will not work, auto control will not work. But once you turn it off, it will return to auto mode. If for some reason the hardware fails and the servo is would be left open for extended periods of time, um, in this case after 10 seconds, an error message is thrown which can be checked on the website and also shows up as an LED error. The only way to escape this is to do, perform a hard reset on the project. And that is our, that is our uh, automatic bird feeder.